Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video, we are going to be checking out and exploring the Body Shop makeup. I'll be completely honest, I had absolutely no idea that the Body Shop even made makeup until I was added to their PR list, in which I was sent everything in this video. This video is not sponsored, these will be Hylio. Can I help you? We're gonna, you're just, you're gonna come up here. Okay, cool. You wanna do the intro with me? They're cruelty free. He has a bell because he got lost recently. If you watch the vlog that I put up last week, you'll see it, but uh, this little guy disappeared for a few hours. And so we had to put, we ended up putting a little bell on him so we knew where he was because he likes to hide in the house all the time, huh? Oh, now the other dog. <laughs> No, you guys lay down, okay? I'm not gonna allow you in here. I'm Mommy is working! So I can buy food for you. Nobody cares. Nobody gives two shits about all the hard work I do around here, okay? We're real casual today. My hair is like a disaster. Okay, so back to the body shop. So on their website, when I was like looking today to like look up pricing and whatnot, that for all of these pieces that we're gonna be testing out, putting to the test, whatever you wanna call it. Um, I love they had a big banner that said cruelty-free makeup. And if you're brand new to my channel, I only use cruelty-free makeup, um, house products, etc. I pretty much try and keep my entire life cruelty-free. So yeah, that was really special to me. I thought that was really cool. And I really love their commitment to cruelty-free and to petitioning to make the whole world cruelty-free. So anyways, this is not a sponsored video. All of my thoughts and opinions are my own and will be expressed whether I like it or not, or they like it or not. That's just how it's gonna go. First thoughts on this collection. So I have this box of makeup right here. Looking over the whole collection, I was like, oh, that's cool. And a couple pieces stood out to me. Like I really like this um, highlighter right here. This looks like it'd be really pretty. But then something stood out a little odd to me. Like they have two items in here, um, a couple, three items actually, that seem to stray away from their overall branding of the makeup. I will say as someone who loves color and wears a lot of color, a lot of the body shop makeup is very neutral, you know, super neutral tones. So they threw in some glitter, some colored mascara, like this one, a star face tattoo stamp. So I think it was, it's a little confusing. I think it's a little strange. I feel like they weren't really maybe understanding their demographic when this came out. It just seems kind of strange to do so many neutral tones, but then to throw like a, a star stamp along with like loose glitter, like chunky glitter. So I feel like it was a little, they were a little confused when they were putting this together. You know, hey, I, I actually love the fact that it's kind of all over the place because depending on my mood, I'm kind of all over the place. Sometimes I do glitter, sometimes I do totally neutral. So it suits me. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like review videos on specific brands, new brands, etc. And if you have any ideas for any brands that you guys want to see that you've like either learned about recently or seen on the gram or anything, let me know in the comments. I do look through all of those and maybe a brand that you suggest will be in an upcoming video and then you don't have to waste your money on it. I'll waste my money on it and we'll try it out. First, I'm gonna start with eyes and I'm gonna be starting off with a product that is not from the body shop because I was not sent any concealer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my own concealer and generally I like to do my concealer first because um, this is way too big to do this with whatever. Because of fallout, etc. This is the ColourPop concealer that I've been loving oh so much. I recently did a routine or a video on my favorite new like base routine. So if you're interested in that, I will link it in the description box below for you to grab and check out later. But it is like my holy grail, absolute favorite. So just saying. I'm just gonna set my eye area real quick just some setting powder. Now their eyeshadow palettes are, so what they do is they sell the palette and then you can fill it. I don't know who filled this one for me, but these are definitely colors that I am not interested in at all. I appreciate the PR package though. It's very nice of them to send me some of their makeup, but these are just shades that don't really excite me. So I'm gonna steer away from this, but I did wanna show you. So you purchase the palette itself and then you get these individuals and the individual eyeshadows I think were four, uh, on sale for $4, but they're normally seven. So, and, and that was another weird thing too, actually that I didn't mention. So they have colors like that and that's the majority of their colors, but then randomly you'll see really bright, crazy colors. So I, I it's it's almost like their, their heart was in two spots when creating this collection. 
I don't hate it though. This one actually has, this one's a lipstick. I stuck my finger in it because I was gonna wear that on my eyes and then I realized that it was actually uh, lipstick. So that's interesting. I'm gonna keep this simple and I'm just gonna go. So this is the complete look palette. Um, looks like this. I'm just gonna go in with this guy right here, which is like a really basic kind of bone shade that has a slight bit of shimmer. All right, that's, you know, is what it is. Nothing too exciting. At least it's going on well though. It's not like sucking from the get go. My eyelids have so much crap in them. Like I really just need to slow down and clean that shit out, but I've just been too busy. I'm gonna use this guy as a transition shade. It was kind of strange. I got like, um, uh, about eight of these it looked like the almost identical shade. And I looked at the back and they're all off. Like, like this is 026 matte clay and it was like 025 matte clay, but they literally all look the same. And I was like, why, why would anyone need that many, <laughs> that many, like that, that's, that's overkill. I'm just going to use this. Oh shoot. They're concealers. Okay. That's why there are so many shades. Wow. I really need to slow down and read stuff. Okay, we'll use this under the eye and see how it goes. But um, I honestly, I thought I thought that was an eyeshadow. I can't read. Welcome to my channel. You're in good hands. I know what I'm talking about. No, I don't. All right, I'm just gonna go straight into this guy. This is a little single. This is Mono Palette Palette One color. Okay, it's this one. Boop. Okay, there's a bit of fallout, but nothing too unreasonable. Like I would expect that. The pigmentation is good. Seems to be blending out pretty nicely. It's nice and powdery. Recently, I was talking about these brushes um, in an Instagram video where I reviewed the Norvina palette by ABH. And I was like, this is a $6 brush, it's vegan. Oh my God, I'm messing in the background. How special is that? That was an accident. But I absolutely love these brushes. It is by Royal and Langnickel. They own Moda brushes too. It feels really nice. You can get them at Walmart or if you choose to buy them online, you can use my discount code and get 10% off. They also make art brushes, which is really cool, um, which totally resonates with me because I started by painting and whatnot. My code is just Kristen. I'll put that on the, on the screen but I love their vegan brushes. They're so soft, they work really well. I just wanted to call that out because I know a lot of you guys were asking and I should have put it in the description box, but I didn't. Okay, I'm having to kind of like layer this a lot, but I'm not super mad about that because I am liking the buildup. This is good, not too pigmented at once. I think the darker concealer is throwing me off because I'm gonna use darker foundation. We're just not there yet. I'm gonna just reinforce this on the lid. Overall, it blends out like really nicely and stuff. I'm a little underwhelmed with the shade range in all honesty. Um, like, I just feel like this is like one of the most boring palettes I've ever seen in my entire life. And it does not inspire me at all. Like I would just die before I wore these boring eyeshadows. Like there's no duochrome, there's no nothing too metallic or glittery to catch your eye. Um, and then this palette's a little strange because not only do these shades not really go well together, but again, there's no shimmery shade to take over the eyelid area while you build these up under the lash line, et cetera. So um, the shade range is a little, little iffy to me. I feel like they should bring <laughs> me in there and I'll help them with some shades. But overall, the shadow is nice quality, blends out well. So if those are shades that you are interested in, um, don't listen to me, but they, they, do, they do blend out well. So we've got that going. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Star Stamp Liner because it is dual ended. So it's got a stamp on one side and let's just check that out for shits and gigs. Ooh, okay, so it reminds me of the milk ones. Those are cool, I love those. But I'm gonna go ahead and use this side. I uh, am not confident in my ability to do a winged liner right now. I haven't been doing these in a really long time, but for the sake of just trying this out, let's see how easy it is, because I haven't done it in a while, so I'm a little rusty. Seems to work pretty nicely. That works pretty well. Yeah, I'll say. Now, let's see if we can get the other side correct. This isn't a tutorial. We're just reviewing this stuff, okay? This actually works pretty well. I like that. I'm not gonna use the stars today because I actually have an Arctic Fox shoot to do after this. So I'm kind of nervous. I hope this all turns out okay. Next, we're gonna go in with foundation. I got three shades sent to me, um, which are vastly different. Uh, if you can see, one is like pinkish, one is yellow, and one's somewhere in the middle. Um, 
we're just gonna, I'm gonna mix these two together. This is, uh, these are 100% vegan too, by the way, these guys. Um, high, so this says matte, high coverage, 24 hour long wear. I don't know why you'd ever wanna wear your foundation for 24 hours, but uh, non pore clogging promotes clear looking skin. What does it mean clear looking? Like either your skin is clear or it isn't. What does that even mean? These are $16 by the way. So overall I would say that the brand isn't like a drugstore brand price, but it isn't a luxury high end price either. So it's kind of somewhere in the middle. Oh yes, we're gonna use the primer first. So let me see, this primer is $22. This is all-in-one five action perfecter. Um, and it says it's a universal shade. And by that, they just mean that it's clear. So I thought that was a little odd. Oh, this feels weird. It's like, oh, it's like jelly. Jelly little granules or something. Okay, let's put this. Feels like silicone-ish. Smells like nothing, nothingness. Feels nice. I really like the way that it feels. So when it says all in a one five action perfecter, I want, what are the five things? Like it doesn't say anywhere on here. That's like it. Like they don't follow it up with like, okay, here's the five things that it does. So we'll never know. We will never know. So I'm mixing these together. I don't know if this is even gonna be the right shade, but it's all I got. So oh, it doesn't look too off. My nose is super red because I was um, squeezing out blackheads last night. <laughs> okay, this isn't going on super well with a brush. Let's uh, give it the benefit of the doubt and we will try a beauty blender. And if a beauty blender can't make foundation look good, then it's just not agreeing with my skin. Okay, that's better. That looks much better, much better. Some days like a foundation that worked well with a brush the other day just doesn't work now. I've got all these scratches on my arm from my rescue iguana. Look at that. It's like, oh, oh I missed that one. I didn't even know that was there. Anyways, he, he got a little cray cray this morning and I was like, we are trimming your nails right now. What if I finish this makeup look and I'm like, oh, I gotta redo this, but I literally am on such a tight time schedule right now with going into film. Uh, I'm not nervous at all. I like the way this feels over here. Like it doesn't feel too matte, you know? It's not like chalk on my skin, but it's also not like wet and like sticky. I feel like it's like a little difficult to blend in. Like I feel like it's never taken me this long to put foundation on. Maybe it's because it's not like the coverage that I'm used to. Like what did this say again? High coverage. Definitely wouldn't call this high coverage. Like look at this. I'm like having to go over everything like a bunch of times. I would definitely say that their foundation game needs a little bit of work. It's not the worst in the world, but it's definitely not great. Like that red on right there is like not even getting covered by it. Like high coverage would, would cover that, like no props. Okay, so we're gonna use the concealer. We'll try it. I haven't used like concealer from a pot in so long. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use the bead blender. I can't get in there very well. The concealer's not bad actually. Um, not bad at all. It says it's full coverage. It's, it's pretty good coverage. They did not send me any setting powder, so I'm just gonna use what I've got here on the desk. Next, I'm gonna try the Lash Hero Fiber Extension Mascara, and this is uh, $18, currently on sale for $9. So one side is the fibers, and the other side is the mascara. Usually with a fiber one, you put a little bit of the black on first so that it has something to stick to. There are no instructions on here. So I am just gonna go with that and see what happens. I'm gonna do the fibers on the lower lash line though because I do plan on wearing lashes simply for the fact that I have a liner on top and a photo shoot to go to after. That didn't do a whole heck of a lot. That is so weird. It seemed to work on the lower lash line a lot better than the top. I don't know why. Oh, already transferred, poop. I'm gonna go in with the fibers, back in with the mascara. I feel like the way this is shaped, it's a little hard to get in there. I'm getting this everywhere. There's mascara like all over. No fault of this though. It's just, we're gonna, we're gonna let that dry. Now I'm gonna go in with the bronzer. These are like little bronzing beads. It's called brush on bronze and they're they're in these little pearls. Oop. 
This is $22. It seems like it's like 22 or 16. That's like kind of their pricing a lot of the time. I haven't used bronzing beads since I used to use Mary Kay. Like it's been a long time. All right, that looks pretty nice. They blend out really nicely. Like sometimes with bronzing beads, they like hit a spot in the brush and then you put it on and it's like all right there. Like whoa pigmentation. But this is actually distributing really evenly and blending out nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of blush. I wrote down that this was $16, but there's no way that this tiny little thing is $16. If there is, if it is like, <coughs> excuse me. I just like spit on my face, lovely. So just gonna take this guy. This looks kind of really pigmented. Um, go for it. That goes on nicely, it's got, it's got nice pigmentation. Now I'm gonna go in with the Shiver, Shimmer Waves. Uh, you know, one kind of odd thing about a lot of these is they don't really say like what they are on the back. And if you kind of are a novice to makeup or you've never really used their products, like I personally wouldn't really know if this was a bronzer or a highlight or a blush, like some brands do shimmery blushes and stuff. So I'm gonna kind of use this as a hybrid of blush and highlight and just swirl my brush around. And this one is $22 and just apply it kind of like a blush slash highlight. It gives a really subtle, nice little glow that might be nice if you're trying to do really natural makeup, but typically that wouldn't really be enough of a glow for me, but the shade is really nice. So just so you can see, um, I'm not gonna wear these today, but this is what the glitter looks like, and the glitter is $8 typically and it's on sale for three dollars right now and it's like not large chunks it's like really really fine glitter i don't know what the rhyme or reason is for the colors that they chose these are the only ones that i got but once again a little odd with such neutral stuff in here i'm gonna put lashes on and i will be right back next before i go in for lips i found a lip liner that matches really well and i'm just gonna use that to overdraw I always say line, but it's honestly like always an overdraw. So the lipstick that I'm gonna use is Sienna Rose Matte 430, and it's $12.50 on sale for $6.25. That is nice and matte. I like that. I have to go over it a couple times to get the opacity that I'd like. It's nice and matte without feeling like too dry, which I like. Ah, no! It's dropped. My card with foundation all over it on the floor. Poop on a stick. It smells kind of funky. So overall, I would say that the makeup collection in general, I think needs a little bit more thought put into different shades and shade ranges. It seems like there's just a ton of neutral tones that are unexciting, that are kind of in the same like color family, if that makes sense. And then we've got some like wild cards that are like yellow and some shades that don't necessarily go together. Like I said, I feel like if you're gonna put really, really bright, like matte shades in there. You also need something for that to play off of. You need something that's going to be glittery and shimmery for the lid or the center. I keep seeing like a hair or something in my vision. I'm like, where is it? So I don't like hate this look, but I don't love it either. Um, I don't think there were any products here that I was just like, wow, this is really awesome. Um, I am I'm excited to try out the colored mascara. I've never seen fiber colored mascara because those were the same as this one. Um, the mascara did work pretty well. The foundation is okay. It looks pretty good, pretty natural. Um, but again, like nothing super, super exciting. I did like the lipstick, although it does taste and smell a little strange. Overall, I don't think in all honesty, I don't think this is any any products that I would ever really grab for again. I have too many other great products that blows these out of the water. So, you know, I would say if you have somebody that really likes the body shop, wants to support them, I think this might be a good option. Um, I did actually really like this. I might actually use this one again, uh, so that's not true. I guess I do like the bronzer, but as far as everything else goes, um, I don't know if I would ever grab for it again. None of these eyeshadows I would ever use again. Not because they're not good quality, just because they just don't excite me. Like the colors that I was sent, I just don't understand and I don't really get. I guess those are, yeah, that, those are my thoughts right there. Let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think about the products that you saw um, today? Have you ever used the Body Shop products? I'm interested to see what your guys' 
um, experience is with them or based off of what you saw today in the palettes and whatnot, what do you think? Sound off in the comments below. I will chat with you there. Thanks for watching another one of my videos and we will see you next week. And if you can't wait for more content, then subscribe to my pet channel, which is linked in the description box below and follow me on Instagram. I post way too many Insta stories, but hopefully at the very least, some of them are entertaining, maybe. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. It's just, I just want to see this swatched. Oh, ah. oh Lordy. Blues are hard to do, but really? Blush. That's pretty. I like that. I don't like it a lot, but I like it. So I can't do the, I like it a lot. Uh, uh, cool.